steeplechase for the Atari 2600 and the Sears Telegames unit. I remember steeplechase in the arcade. Uh, it's been a number of years since I've actually seen an arcade machine in person. It's been a really long time. It was one of those really simple games. It's just a one-button action game where you're jumping off these, jumping over these hurdles as the horses race across the screen. It's a lot of fun when you get a lot of people playing all at once. Get up to six people playing at once in the arcade version. It's incredibly fun. I used to go to the pizza place with my brother every once in a while, a group of his friends, and uh, we would play this uh, while we were waiting for our pizza. A lot of fun. A lot of good memories playing this game with my older brother and his friends. But anyway, we're talking about the 2600 version of the arcade version of Steeplechase. Very good translation of the arcade game to the 2600. Added an extra gameplay element, though, which we'll talk about in a minute. It's got a nice-looking box. Shows a picture of a horse jumping over the hedge. You see someone sold this at a yard sale or something. It had $10 on it, marked it off, put $3. It's a shame they wrote it in the box, but hey, it happens. It has six different game variations. And up to four people can play this game. On the back of the box... Nothing really back here to see, except it does use the paddle controllers, so you can have four paddle controllers for the four players. That's why they need those. Plus, you use the paddle controllers to set your jump height, which is something new. That wasn't in the arcade game. Here's your chance to compete in a challenging steeplechase. One to four players take part in the action, each controlling a horse. In one player games, the computer plays at three different skill levels. So mount up and get ready for an exciting steeplechase. Awesome. Of course, in the box we have the cartridge. Pretty plain cartridge. This says six telegames, action racing, varied hurdles, three skill levels. Pretty plain cartridge. Manual's pretty nice, though. It's a nice collar manual with the same picture on the front as what's on the box. This is the content. And here we go. We can see our horses we have to play with here. Meet the Video Arcade Horses. Welcome to the Video Arcade Stables. It's time for you to meet the lively thoroughbreds winning inside this game cartridge. This spirited bunch of hoofers never miss a race. <laughs> so first up we have, in the lane at the top of the play field is Little Dictator. Little Dictator has a mean streak that surfaces every now and then. Once after losing a race, he ate the entire grandstands. Ooh. Next stable, just missed. This horse is the next lane was aptly named Just Missed. Just missed every race he had ever entered before coming to our stables. Now he's as dependable as a horse could be. He doesn't want to win every race, but he never misses one. <laughs> Absent Mind occupies the third lane down. He tends to forget things occasionally. One time during a race, he completely forgot what he was supposed to do. He ended up selling programs to the spectators lined up at the railing. <laughs> Absent mind is spelled upside down. It's kind of cool. And of course, at the bottom lane, we have, uh, what's his name? Lucky Devil. In his name, he's become so wealthy from winning races that he now lives at the infamous Horse Heaven. Horse Heaven Penthouse. At Horse Heaven, he sleeps in a hoof-shaped waterbed, dines regularly on caviar-flavored oats and carrots, and drink champagne while lounging in his Gucci loafers and satin dinner jackets. <laughs> so now you know a little about the Video Arcade team of horses. You can go against them in any one of the six games, or you can pick one of them as your own mount. Who knows? You may end up in a horse heaven yourself one day. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I like it when they put little stories like that with the games. Like I said, it's a pretty forward game. You use both controllers. Well, you use four paddle controllers on this for up to four players. You play it by yourself, too. The computer will take over the other horses while you play. Talks about using the paddle controllers. Basically, you're hitting the fire button on the side of the paddle controller to make your horse jump over the obstacle. And on the very far right-hand side of the screen, you'll see a little bar. That's your jump height. You can use the paddle control to adjust the jump height of your horse. What I do is I set it to the maximum height and just leave it there. It's basically what I do. We do have some different game variations. 
which is back here in the back. Game number one, uh, the computer performance is poor, and the hurdle spacing is uniform. Then we go to game number four, it starts with random hurdle spacing. So game number six would be the hardest one to play. Excellent computer performance, computer horse performance, and random hurdle spacing. So we'll play a couple games to see how badly I do. <laughs> so let's plug this in and do some racing. All right, we're going to play game number one, which is poor computer performance rating. And hurdle spacing is uniform, so here we go. I'm ready to go. Set my height indicator to the top. Jump! Oh, 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 oh. Yes! Now, if you set the hurdle height spacers lower, your horse will run a little bit faster, because you get on the ground quicker. So that allows you to, to gain some ground. I can't believe I'm doing this bad. Go, Lucky Devil, go! Dang, I keep hitting this dang bar. Let's race up a little bit. Ooh, all the way up. Oh, get over it. Up and over. So the longer you keep your horse down on the track, the more ground you can gain. So that's a nice little game element they added to this. Ah, oh, it's up too early. Oh, that's a big one. Oh! Another big one. Oh! Go! I'm in the lead, so I'm just going to leave it on the high setting. Oh, I'm really I'm really pulling out there. Go, 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 go! Oof. Whoop. 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 Oh! Yes! Lucky Devil wins! <laughs> so let's try <clears throat> game number three, which is excellent computer performance and uniform hurdles. Here we go. Ooh. I'm a much slower horse. Go, 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 go! Get over it. There we go. There we go. Let's see if I can gain. Ah! This is a heck of a lot more challenging. Oh. Yeah, I'm not going to do too good on this one. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's try game number five, which is good horse performance rating in random hurdles. This should be interesting. Oh, come on. Sound effects are pretty cool. Oh man, I am so far behind. Oh come on. Wow, looks like the only version I can win is when it's set to pour. Rats. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I really like this game. So that's Steeplechase, another great arcade translation to the Atari 2600. Thanks for watching.